Greetings, Mobile Delegates. I'm Ashley Esqueda, and it's time for your Mobile Nation's Monday Brief, where I bring you the best of Crackberry, Android Central, WebOS Nation, Windows Phone Central, and the newly rebranded iMore. This is the post-CES show, and I took it upon myself to talk to each Mobile Nation's head of state and have them pick their favorite CES showing. Let's jump into it. Kevin from Crackberry's favorite site at CES 2012 was, of course, OS 2.0 on the BlackBerry playbook. Let's take a look at Crackberry's video highlights of RIM's newest update to their tablet. And we focused in kind of three key areas with OS 2.0. The first is communications, the second is productivity, and the third is extending that powerful, powerful performance that we introduced with playbook um, last year. Um, so let me just dive right in. Sure. Um, the first thing you'll notice is that you've got this app dock right now, right? So this allows you to um, take your most used icons or your most used applications and park them on a dock. So I've got, you know, built-in calendar, email, contacts, the browser, of course, because I use it all the time, and I've got the BlackBerry Bridge folder in there, too. Right? This is native email, built-in messages, whatever you want to call it. And what we've done with this application is made it a unified messaging um, application or unified messaging uh, platform. Phil's number one pick this year was the Intel Motorola 11 with their products featuring new Intel processors. What you also notice about this keyboard here is that you know, we've kind of refined it a bit. We're always tinkering, and always trying to make it a little bit better. And so we've really balanced it to, to kind of mimic a PC keyboard. Now these keys are laser cut, right? They're laser cut and LED lit mm -hmm. on the sides so you can be typing. Uh, Look at how I got it to turn on the first yeah, time, yeah. but yeah. Again, we can cover up the, uh, one of the sensors here. And you can, and you can there you go. Right there. Now I really love playing connect the dots with this. Google buys Motorola. Motorola hops into bed with Intel, therefore Google now hearts Intel. Scandalo! Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Now Derek from WebOS Nation was too busy roundhouse kicking everything in sight to actually see anything WebOS related, so he picked out Corning's newest iteration of their wildly popular Gorilla Glass. Let's check out Gorilla Glass 2.0. Over 100, 110, 114, 110. Ooh, 120. Locked in 121 pounds. Nice. How'd that feel? How's the glass look? Woo! All right. What did I tell you? Thin is in. What do you think's next? Gorilla Glass 2. Let's bring it up. Okay, we're going to take it down to 0.8 millimeters. We're going to zero out the device, and we're going to see how this one works. This is thinner, folks. Okay? So I told you. Your own last two enables up to 20% thinner in devices. Tip B is dead. Long live iMore. The iOS corner of the mobile nations has been rebranded. In addition, Renee found the one iPhone thing there's plenty of at CES. Cases, cases, and cases. I'm going to point you to a few new products we have on, on display too uh, this year. Uh, one of the is the, uh, the Arrow iPhone 4 and iPhone 4S case. One of the other designs we particularly like is the grid case. All of these designs are currently designed by Livius Diesel, who's an award-winning designer from Berlin, Germany, and he has been supporting us in the past 12 months, and he's continued to support us uh, with new great designs. All we had a beautiful combination of artwork and crystals. It wasn't just a crystal case. He used the crystals to make the artwork even better. That's, that's uh, indeed the case, and that will always be our our uh, unique selling point. We know that's not super exciting compared to the rest of Mobile Nations at CES, but Macworld's coming up later this month and I'm sure we'll be hearing from Apple then. It was a huge year at CES for Windows Phone and Daniel's pick of the show was his interview with Microsoft's Joe Belfiore. With Mango, um, we're, we're filling in those gaps and we're adding breadth and so on. And 2012, I expect to be a, a very exciting year with more of that kind of stuff happening. And then, of course, later on with the launch of Windows 8, um, adding another jolt of energy and awareness right. to Metro and the Live Tiles interface. And hopefully that'll energize not just users, but app developers. As well. That's it for your Mobile Nations Monday Brief. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash mobile nations. You can check out our variety of podcasts at mobilenations.com slash shows. And you can follow me on Twitter at Ashley Esqueda. Nations, you have been briefed.